Hello, everyone. I pray that each and every one are standing strong in the Lord, standing on the word of God and also taking your authority, believing that you've received everything Christ has paid the price for you to have, even concerning your household. Standing on the word of God that as for you and your house, you will serve the Lord. I wanted to come on and join my faith with each and every one who is standing and believing for a loved one to come to know the Lord. I want to stand in prayer and join my faith with those that are standing in the gap for a spouse who may have been taken captive. By the evil one. And you are literally watching. The enemy. Take a hold of your loved one. Bring trouble and chaos in your marriage. Bring forth separation and division. Causing discord. And all types of ungodly behavior. You may see your loved one bound. I want to stand in prayer with you. And remind you and encourage you. With the word of God. And so I want to also believe with you that this is your year for breakthrough, that you will begin to see things turn around, that you will begin to see the enemy let go, that you will begin to see your loved one be set free. Jesus paid the price for each and every one of us to have life and have it more abundantly. So I wanted to just come on and stand and believe with that one that is hurting. And you may feel like you're just all alone, that you're just completely in this battle all by yourself. But you are not. We're going to join our faith. Everyone that are listening under the sound of my voice that are needing breakthrough. You know, the Bible tells us that one can chase a thousand. One of us and two can put 10,000 to flight. And just think that if God be for us, what can stand against us? The Lord Jesus Christ has already spoiled principalities and powers and rulers and wicked spirits that are in the unseen realm. He also gave us this truth and this promise that he has given us power to tread upon all serpents and scorpions. And over all the powers of the devil. And nothing shall by any means harm us. He says he has given unto us power. And this power people of God. Is the resurrection power and life. The Holy Spirit. The one who dwells on the inside of you. Is the one. That causes. Everything. Everything to work together for your good. You will overcome that situation. You will begin to see things turn around in your life. Because we overcome the devil. We have overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb. And by the word of our testimony. And we love not our lives unto the death. Christ is first in our life. This is What is going on in the hearts of the believers. We seek first. God and his kingdom. And righteousness. We are standing for God's righteous cause. Of seeing our loved ones come to know him. And these things will be added. Hallelujah. As we seek first the kingdom. And his righteousness. All things will be added because God honors his word. His word reveals righteousness, his truth, his will. And this is what we are seeking to see. We are seeking the kingdom to be done on this earth as it is in heavenly places. And these things will be added in your homes, in the life of your loved ones, in your marriage. Where a man shall leave father and mother and cleave to his wife. As God promised in the beginning. And they shall be united into one flesh. And so the enemy cannot come in and wreck your marriage. He cannot come in 
and bind your loved one. He cannot come in and hold you captive no longer for Christ has paid the price. And so we come against all fear and doubt and unbelief because we're standing on the word of God, which is truth. Which is truth. Which stands forever. Heaven and earth may pass away, Jesus says. He says, but my word, the word of God is forever. Hallelujah. And so I just want to come on and encourage that one and also pray. Just, just take the time out and pray with each and every one. Those that are on now or those that may come on later. It doesn't matter when you come on. You and I are coming together in agreement. Asking of these things according to the word of God. His will to be done in your life, your marriage, your family. We are asking of these things in Jesus name. And it is given. It is given. Hallelujah. Because the word is what God hears. And since we know that God hears us. When we are asking and making our request. You know that you will receive what you ask for. Hallelujah, as Jesus says, if we abide in him and his word abide in us, we can ask for anything we will and it will be given. Believe you've received precious standards when we pray. Believe it and give thanks. Give thanks. Give praise each and every day as the Lord ministers to your heart and strengthens you as he reminds you of his word. As the Holy Spirit brings it back to your remembrance of what Jesus said. In the name of the Lord, torment the enemy every day by reminding and encouraging yourself of what Christ said and declare it out of your mouth. Take your authority. Hallelujah. Take your authority. As the word of God tells us in Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22, it says this. Isaiah quoted this. He said, but this is a people. Robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared. They are all of them snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey. And none delivered. None delivered. For a spoil. And none said restore. But we thank God. As we hear these words that Isaiah quoted. Who saw the bondage. Who saw. The troubles. Who saw. God's people being in captivity. But we thank God. The father sent his son Jesus Christ. To set each and every one. Free. During those days. Yeah. Isaiah saw that the Savior, the Messiah, would come and restore precious standards. If you have a loved one you are seeing that have been robbed and spoiled and have been taken in a snare, put in prison, in spiritual houses as a prey, needing deliverance, who have been taken for a spoil, just know Christ has come. When he came over 2,000 years ago to restore. Hallelujah. It is done. We are living in the new covenant. We are living in the new covenant. We are living under the new covenant. Our Lord Jesus Christ has already come and paid the price to restore. Hallelujah. That loved one of yours is coming out. The enemy can no longer have them bound. And so I want to join my faith with each and every one. As Jeremiah also gives us these writings of thus says the Lord, the maker thereof. The Lord that formed us and established us. The Lord is his name. He said, call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knewest not. Jeremiah is right and shows us these promises in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 2 and 3. As we call upon the name of the Lord, God is answering you people of God. He is answering you precious standards. God is not a man that he should lie. 
Neither the son of man that he should repent. What God has spoken in his word. It is true. Hallelujah. So I want to join my faith. With you that your loved one is coming out. For Christ has come to restore. And bring your loved one out. Of the snares. And the prisons. The spiritual cell. The prison doors have been opened because he has sacrificed his life. He has shed his blood. He has shed his blood. But Isaiah also tells us in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5. That the Lord God was wounded for our transgressions. The enemy can no longer have us bound. He was wounded for our transgressions. The Lord was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace including your loved ones was upon him. And with his stripes we were healed. We were restored. It's time that you begin to say it precious standards. It's time that you begin to say that your loved one can no longer be robbed. And spoiled. And put in a prison. And and, and, and ensnared in holes. And as a prey. But now can be reached and delivered. Through the blood of Jesus. Remember that's how we overcame the devil. By the blood of the lamb. He have already come. The lamb has come. And sacrificed his life. He has been sacrificed. He has been slain for us. So now we have overcome the devil. We have overcome the devil. By that blood. Of the lamb. And by the word. Of truth. By what you stand upon and believe and hold on to it and don't let it go. Torment the devil with it every day. Till you see justice. Be like that persistent widow that the Lord describes to us in Luke chapter 18. When he talks about the widow seeking justice. She sought the judge every day. Because she wanted justice. She wanted justice against her adversary. And that is exactly what you do. Do not sit by. And allow the enemy to get away with what he has been doing in your home. And in your life. And in your family. You continue standing on what Christ has already done for you. The enemy has to loose them and let them go. Your faith will cause you to overcome. These challenges. And and this opposition. and, And this bondage. And this division and separation where now you can stand and have peace. You can have peace in your life and in your marriage. I stand as well with you people of God. I have loved ones that I'm also standing in the gap for. So we're going to come together. Hallelujah. For the Bible, remember, says in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 20 through 22. Paul talks about it. He said that you were once. Far away from God and his enemy. Separated from him by your evil thoughts and actions. Who was he talking to? He was telling the people in Colossae. About how God set them free. Set them free in their mind. Opened up their mind. Opened up their eyes. Where the enemy had them bound. Their thoughts were evil and their actions. This is why Christ came to set us all free in our minds, our soul, including your loved one. So Paul was reminding the Colossians what God done for them. He says you were once far away from God and his enemy, separated from him by your evil thoughts and actions. You see, this is what causes people to be separated from God is what the enemy puts in their minds he blinds the minds and when their minds are blinded it causes bad behavior it causes evil actions it causes rebellion against God it causes even a man to walk away from his wife which is his own body and no longer have compassion for his own children his family And drives him in the arms of another woman. This is what even causes a wife to leave her husband. And and no longer honor and want to respect him. And 
and just tear apart the marriage and, and bring division in the home where there is no peace and things are not functioning the way God created it to be. This is why Christ came. Hallelujah. He came to break the power of the enemy. As Paul says, yet now he has reconciled you to himself through the death of Christ Jesus' own physical body. And as a result, he has brought you into his own presence, he told them. He says, and you are holy and blameless as you stand before him without a single fault. This is what Christ has done. Broke the power of the devil off of their minds that had them separated. And this is what you stand upon, people of God, that God is breaking the power of the devil off of your loved one's mind. Continue tormenting the enemy. Rubbing this in his face. Rubbing this in his, in his ears. Dominating him with this truth. Tormenting him. Standing on the word of God, which is the sword, which is the sword of the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Begin to declare that there is restoration in your family. Begin to declare that there is restoration in your marriage now through the blood of Jesus. Begin to declare, hallelujah, that the Lord God is breaking this separation that you are seeing between him and your loved ones and that they are being reconciled back to him. And as a result, Restoration will follow people of God in your marriage, in your homes, in your household. You will begin to become one with your spouse. You'll begin to be like-minded towards one another, reverencing the Lord. This is what's going to bring restoration and reconciliation in your relationship when you both are followers of Christ Jesus. So begin to just constantly stand on the word of God, tormenting the enemy, reminding him of what Christ has done, how he has already defeated him over 2,000 years ago, how he has already defeated the enemy, Satan, the devil, the adversary that is fighting against the body of Christ, fighting against marriages, not wanting us to receive what Christ, what Christ has done in our lives, but he will not prevail against you. And so I want to join my faith with you. You are not alone, people of God. You are not alone. Each and every one of us are coming together in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You have already won the victory because the blood was already shed. The enemy has to let your loved one go. He has to let them go. Take your authority and begin to say, restore, restore, restore. Begin to say the blood of Jesus has restored everything back in your life. Back to God's original intent. Begin to just declare that your life has been restored through the blood of Jesus. Your marriage has been restored through the blood of Jesus. Your relationship between you and your spouse has been restored through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Begin to remind the devil that he has no right. No right to come in and wreck your home and your family and steal your peace. Jesus was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we were healed. And as Paul says, we now stand before him, blameless, without a single fault, talking about the body of Christ. And so therefore, people of God, therefore, since you stand before God without a single fault, you can intercede on the behalf of your loved one. You have been given authority. And power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the devil. And nothing shall by any means harm you. There is nothing the enemy can use against you. Christ is for you. You are in right standings with him. It is important that you know who you are. It is important that you know who you are. And as you see yourself. As you think in your own heart, so shall it be. The enemy shall obey you. 
Hallelujah. He shall obey you. You have been given authority. Christ has caused you to be able to take back everything the devil has stolen. All you have to do is, is declare it and decree it. And stand on it. Don't give up until you see it. All line up according to what God has given you. You don't have to settle for less. We don't have to settle and accept no anything. You want it just the way Christ has given it to you. You want your life to be just the way God said. He wants it. You want your life to be just the way God has paid the price for it to be. In your marriage illustrate the way Christ and the church are united into one. And so I want to pray right now people of God with each and every one. Father we just thank you. As you declared in your word through the prophet Jeremiah. That we can call unto you and you will answer. And show us great and mighty things which we know us not. Yes, Father, let your kingdom come in the hearts of each and every one of our loved ones. So that your will will be, so that your will will be done on this earth as it is already in heavenly places. Let each and every one of our lives align up, line up according to your word. Line up according to what is in heavenly places, O oh God. Yes, oh God, let marriages illustrate the way Christ and the church are one. Let each and every one of our lives mirror who you are and who you have blessed us to be. In the name of Jesus, we call it forth. We call it forth in Jesus' name that our homes line up according to your will. Our loved ones come in alignment with your word. We bind the strongholds of the enemy. And cease and desist them now. We stop them now in the name of Jesus. For we have overcome you. You spirit of wickedness by the blood of the lamb. We command you to back off. We command you to flee. We command you to get behind us in the name of Jesus. We take our authority over you. We command you to loose the minds and the hearts of our loved ones. Our spouses. Our children. In the name of Jesus. Our brothers and sisters. Who you have come to fight against. Devil we command you to flee now. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We have overcome you by the blood. We cover our marriages. Our homes and our families. With the blood right now. Thank you Father God. Thank you for sending Jesus. To restore everything back to your original intent. You have given us power and dominion to rule on this earth. And therefore, Father, we take our authority. And we are declaring that our homes has been free. Our loved ones has been free through the blood of Jesus. And therefore, we command that they come out of every darkness, every prison door. That they come out of the holes and the snares now. Their souls be released. Every soul belongs to you, Lord. And right now on this earth. Lord God, we are standing for your righteous cause and your will, Lord God. Your will to be done for your glory and your name's sake. We declare that our marriages, our families, our loved ones, every one of them, be as Christ has ordained it to be. And so I stand with my brothers and sisters now, in Jesus' name, that they be strengthened, that they be uplifted, that they be encouraged. In Jesus name oh God. In your precious name we just thank you. That as we call on you. You are answering. You are answering us. And you are showing us. And you will show us. You are going to show us great and mighty things. As you promised in your word. Great and mighty things are coming forth. In Jesus name. Lord we just thank you. For breaking down. Every evil thought. In our loved ones lives. So that they will no longer. No longer continue in ungodly behaviors. Their actions will begin to line up. According to Christ Jesus. That they become followers of you Lord. Lord yes. Let there be harmony. Harmony in Jesus name. As I stand with each and every one that are standing now. As I stand and I come in agreement with them. Yes, oh God, that their families, their loved ones, their marriages, their marriages will begin to bring forth your glory. 
And we declare that they are restored through the blood of Jesus. Therefore, devil, you let them go now. You let them go now. You let them go now. We loose these marriages. We loose our loved ones right now in Jesus' holy name. And we declare, Lord God, as you said in your word, you'll pour out your spirit and cause us. You'll cause them to walk in your ways. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for filling them with your Holy Spirit. Stopping the wiles of the devil. Thank you, Lord God, for giving them the power. Giving them the power and dominion over the adversary, over the enemy that had had them bound. Thank you for raising them up, oh God, causing their eyes to see and their ears to hear. Thank you for raising them up, God. Hallelujah. And delivering them and setting them free. Setting them free. We declare, Lord God, that great and mighty things are coming forth. We bless your holy name. We worship you and adore you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise him, people of God. Praise his, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord who loves you and adores you. Remember, call unto me, he says. Calling out to the Lord is how he answers. He's showing you. He's about to show you great and mighty things. Which you knew not of. And all things are going to work together for your good. Remember God loves you and I love you too. People of God. And until next time. Remember you are blessed. Bye bye.